Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about set current key, set position and get position function in Business Central. Before we proceed, I would like to tell you that this is my GitHub page and here I'll be uploading all the programs which I'm explaining in the video. So you can use it for your reference and please start this page. And the next one is this is my blog here. I will be uploading all the instructions detail in a detailed manner. So you can if you click on any one uh, blog and if you really feel that blog is very helpful to you. So you can just follow my blog by clicking here and uh, this is my um, youtube channel so you can see here that i'll be uploading all the videos here uh, in a proper um, uh, you can see all the videos here and if you really like that this video that particular video any video which really helped you a lot to learn something and if you want to thank me if you want to show your support so you can click here thanks <music> So let us understand where this set current key can be used. Okay. So if you wanted to sort the content of a table in the provided fields. Okay. So based on if you wanted to sort something and select the key contains the specific fields. So we'll be using a set current key. So by the name itself, you can understand that you want to set the current function field as a key. Okay, you may have already a key which is already created, but you will be creating an another field as a key for that particular execution. Okay, so again, I'm just insisting set current key is used to sort the contents of the table on the provided fields and select the key that contains the specified fields if possible. Okay, so this key, whatever the key which you're going to set that key will become the current key and is used by the find function. I have already discussed about the find function in the previous video. Please go and check that and the next function and any other function until another key is selected. Okay, for example, imagine that you have uh, in a customer table, we will be using a customer table. Okay, in customer table already defined key is what number. But what I'm going to create is what I'm going to set the another field as a key. Okay, so this field, another field, that field will become a current key and that is used to based on that key only. If you are going to use a find or next function based on this key, the find and uh, next function will be working out. Okay, so this is how the set uh, current key will be using and uh, will be used and this you have to follow some guidelines in order to use the set current key. Okay, so inactive field will be ignored if you are using a set current key. So only active keys will be scanned. And uh, if no keys are found, uh, then uh, if, if you are uh, if you are mentioning some key and if that key is not found, okay, then it will probably show you throw you the runtime error. So make sure that the key is already there. That is a field which you are going to mention as a key should be should already be there okay so you can set the current the, you can set the key that without any written type or with the written type but here in our uh, um, example i have i am going to use it with the written function okay what i have created is what i have created a page okay and this is my page id and this is the page name okay i haven't uh, uh, i haven't connected with any table okay the source table i haven't connected i haven't created any layouts okay i'm just I'm just going to create an action fine so for this you have to create a function sorry you have to create a variable the first variable is what the customer variable and record is a data type which is used to assign that particular table all the table fields to this particular variable okay this customer is a table which is already there in my um, as a, that is is that is a base table okay and this customer is a variable which I have created this is a user defined variable and I have created a text which with a label so the label is what key selected if the key is there it will it will show it is selected successfully if the key is not there it will show the key not found okay don't bother about these variable this we are going to uh, use when we use the get position and set position 
function okay just see till this okay it's very simple i have created two things now i have created an action okay this is a set current key action you can see here this is my name my own name okay any name you can write it your own name actions and in inside the trigger i am using if customer this is a variable dot set current key set current key is the function name okay once if you hover over the set current key you can see that you have to specify the field which field you are going to set as a key okay so this sales person so sales person code is already there in my customer table but this sales person code is not my primary key my primary key is what number okay you can find it here if you just hover here you can see envo which is a primary key okay key pk1 they have mentioned and if you scroll down you can see sales person code which is not a, a primary key okay but i am just using it here if you wanted to uh, use multiple functions multiple fields you can also specify that okay if you wanted to make um, uh, some other field to be a key say so you wanted to set that that is a key then you can also select it okay so as of now i'm just selecting only salesperson code because that is a proper key i can just fix it from this particular table so if customer dot set current key person goes then person uh, sorry salesperson code then it should display the message text 001 what is the message i have written here key selected successfully yes it will re result message text 002 key not found and it will be ended okay this is my first function i hope you understand what is that set current key so let us go to the set position okay set position and get position we are going to talk about so set position what it will do is it will sets the field in a primary key on a record to the values specified in the string parameter it will set the position it will set the fields okay so what it will do basically the sets uh we can create the position of that particular record so i'll just show you before that um yeah so what we have to understand is what for the set position and get position i have declared um this variables okay so you can see that first one is record reference it's a record reference data type so what is that record reference data type so reco RECORD REF it's a data type which is available in business central so record reference object can refer to any table in the database okay see if you use this record data type then definitely you have to mention what table you are going to use it here okay or else it will show you error if you just leave it as such you no know? it will show you error because you have mentioned record in that case you have to tell what table you are going to assign to that particular variable but if you use record reference which means that you can refer to any table in the database if you are using this record reference then you have to open that particular table that is a database which you are going to use you are going to access it okay that is the only thing so this is one um, um data type which you should know this is record reference this text you know this label you know this record reference you know and the next one is the field reference okay this identifies a field in a table so here i have uh, given the record reference so you can refer to any table and here i can i told that uh, i can refer to any field in this particular table okay these two data type which we are using it um in this particular uh, video so i just wanted to insist that this is what we are going to do that okay so this two things i hope you understand and uh, set position which is used to set that particular uh, thing as a primary key sorry so this is set position is uh, used to uh, set the field in a primary key on a record okay it will set the key on a uh, it will set that particular field on a primary key to the value specified in the string parameter whatever we are going to specify here no that will be assigned to that okay so this is the simple so get position it will get the position whatever we have assigned as a primary key it will get the position okay this is the what the example which we are going to show okay so what in this example we are going to uh, this example changes the value in the primary key 
okay that is the number field okay we are going to use the number field here so i have used the input string and i have assigned the number field from the table 23 23 is the table id okay 23 is the table id which is a vendor vendor table okay and this is the uh, uh, that is changes the value in the primary key the primary key i have and the other fields and this only it will changes the value of the primary key the other fields will not be changed okay so here we have started as i opening the table okay here i have opened the table as i told if i am declaring anything as a record reference then i have to open that particular table so my record reference dot open and i have to specify the id 23 okay so the field method that is the record reference is the field method okay this, this is the field method selects the first field that is a number field and stores the value in the my field reference table so what i'm doing it will open the first field and i'm trying to store the first field record in the my field reference okay my field reference so my field reference is what it is storing the field reference got it so the set filter method here i am using the set filter method okay sets the filter which selects the record from 10000 to 20000 so dot dot in the sense 20000 from 10000 to 20000 i have already discussed about the set filter and get filter in the previous video so please go and watch it so the and then what happens the find last this method finds and retrieves the last record in the record set it will go and find the retrieves okay the set position method here you can see that the set position method changes the value in the number field from 20000 to 20001 so first record will be 20000 that will be changed to 20001 okay that is what the set position so what i am setting the position in the input string so in the input string i have declared the number 20001 so that will be so the record number and the name of the record are displayed before so here i am trying to display the record number and the name okay what happened if before setting the position and what hap what is happening after setting the position okay and the string that contains new primary key will be initialized in the input string variable that is what we have initialized here in the input string variable again so here also i am declaring the variable in the input initializing the value and again the new value which we have acquired which we got will also be stored in the input string and even that message also will be displayed okay i hope you all understand i'm just going to execute the code 50109 right 50109 yes great so let us save this code and execute okay so here you can see we have the action and if i click i have set current key which is what i have created here set current key okay and then set position and that is also available here set position so let us first execute the current key if i click set current key key selected successfully because i have the key there so it is showing it selected successfully and if i select set position the record number before the primary key was changed is vendor 20000 so first one is what 20000 what we are doing it here see this is just simply assigning the input string we haven't do anything we have assigned the value to the input string and i have opened the 23rd um, table which is a vendor table and here i am finding uh, the, i'm filtering the data from 10000 to 20000 once it is found then only i am assigning the value okay i'm changing i'm just setting the position to the input string which is 20001 so the vendor name before the primary key was changed is ARD property management. So if I click OK, you can see that the record number after the primary key was changed is vendor 2001. The vendor name after the primary key was changed to ARD property. So there is, that is the name and all doesn't change. Only the primary key value is changed. If you click OK, it will show the primary key. What is the key now? Okay, before it was 20,000 and now it is showing that it is 20,001. <coughs> yes hope you all understand and this all the simple one that is a text label you all know this but i just wanted to re-insist on what is a field reference what is record reference if you 
don't want to specify which table you are going to use then you can use record reference and if you wanted to uh, tell which record which table you wanted to uh, use then you have to use the cust uh, record data type okay and whenever you are using a record reference you have to open the table with the table id got it so i hope you all understand what is set current key what is set um, position and what is get position in the next video i'll be discussing about some more functions which are very important for you all which will be very essential for doing and developing the um, business central thank you take care bye bye